Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to prevent and treat heart problems. Heart problems are a leading cause of death and disability worldwide, but they can be prevented and treated with some simple lifestyle changes and medical interventions. Heart problems are conditions that affect the function and structure of the heart, such as coronary artery disease, heart failure, arrhythmias, and valve disorders. These conditions can cause symptoms such as chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, swelling, palpitations, and fainting. They can also increase the risk of heart attack, stroke, and other complications. The good news is that you can reduce your risk of developing heart problems by following some simple steps. Eat a healthy diet. A healthy diet can lower your blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood sugar levels, which are all risk factors for heart problems. A healthy diet includes plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, low-fat dairy products, nuts, seeds, and legumes. It also limits salt, sugar, saturated fat, trans fat, and alcohol intake. Some examples of healthy diets are the DASH diet and the Mediterranean diet. Get regular physical activity. Physical activity can help you maintain a healthy weight and strengthen your heart and blood vessels. It can also lower your stress levels and improve your mood. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity aerobic activity per week. You can also do some muscle strengthening exercises at least twice a week. Quit smoking or avoid secondhand smoke. Smoking damages your heart and blood vessels and increases your risk of heart attack and stroke. Quitting smoking can improve your health and lower your risk of heart problems. If you need help quitting smoking, talk to your doctor or call a quit line. Also avoid exposure to secondhand smoke as much as possible. Manage your stress. Stress can raise your blood pressure and heart rate and trigger unhealthy behaviors such as overeating, smoking, or drinking alcohol. Stress can also affect your mental health and well-being. To cope with stress, try some relaxation techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, yoga, or massage. You can also seek support from your family, friends, or a professional counselor. Check your blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood sugar levels regularly. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, and high blood sugar levels can damage your heart and blood vessels over time and increase your risk of heart problems. You should check these levels at least once a year or more often if you have a family history or other risk factors for heart problems. If your levels are too high, Talk to your doctor about how to lower them with lifestyle changes or medications. If you already have heart problems or have had a heart attack or stroke in the past, you should follow these steps as well as take any medications prescribed by your doctor. Some common medications for heart problems are ACE inhibitors or ARBs. These drugs lower blood pressure and reduce the workload on the heart by relaxing the blood vessels. Beta blockers. These drugs lower blood pressure and heart rate by blocking the effects of adrenaline on the heart. Diuretics. These drugs lower blood pressure and fluid retention by increasing urine output. Antiplatelet drugs or anticoagulants. These drugs prevent blood clots from forming in the arteries or veins by inhibiting platelet aggregation or thinning the blood. Satins. These drugs lower cholesterol levels by blocking an enzyme that produces cholesterol in the liver. You should take these medications exactly as prescribed by your doctor and do not stop them without consulting your doctor first. You should also inform your doctor of any side effects or interactions with other drugs or supplements you may be taking. In some cases, you may need surgery or other procedures to treat your heart problems. Some common procedures are Coronary Artery Bypass Graft CABG. This surgery involves using a healthy artery or vein from another part of the body to bypass a blocked or narrowed coronary artery that supplies blood to the heart muscle. Heart valve surgery. This surgery involves repairing or replacing a damaged or defective heart valve that regulates blood flow through the chambers of the heart. Carat 4 carat 1. Implantable left ventricular assist device, LVAD, placement. This procedure involves inserting a mechanical pump-like device into the left ventricle of the heart to help it pump blood to the rest of the body. This device is usually used as a temporary or bridge solution for people who are waiting for a heart transplant or who are not eligible for a heart transplant. Heart transplant. This surgery involves replacing a diseased or failing heart with a healthy donor heart. 
This is the last resort option for people who have end-stage heart failure and have not responded to other treatments. These procedures are usually performed by a cardiologist or a cardiac surgeon in a hospital setting. They may involve some risks and complications such as bleeding, infection, rejection, or arrhythmias. You should discuss the benefits and risks of these procedures with your doctor before undergoing them. I hope this video has given you some useful information on how to prevent and treat heart problems. Remember that you can improve your heart health and quality of life by making some simple lifestyle changes and following your doctor's advice. If you have any questions or concerns about your heart health, don't hesitate to contact your doctor or a healthcare professional. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos on health and wellness. See you next time.